All right, so what are ratios and proportions in math? Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I've been teaching college math for nine years. And ratios and proportions actually do have a hand-in-hand -hand relationship because they're, well, they're frankly very similar. Ratios and proportions, they both involve comparisons, generally between two things, A to B, gallons to miles, anything you want. What you have to think about is what two things are being compared to. So for example, and then figuring out what kind of ratio or proportion to set up. So for example, if you have three apples to five pears, you can create a ratio instantly from this phrase. Now, we have to make a decision though, which variable you want to be the numerator and which variable you want to be in the denominator. Now, you can actually do, for example, since apples is mentioned first, apples over pairs. Now, if you make that decision, then you have to put the numbers where they belong accordingly. So, being that three is with the apples, you can write it as three over, and the pairs is going to be five. So, one ratio or proportion that you can use to represent this comparison is three over five or three fifths. But on the other hand, you don't have to do it that way. You could actually go the other way around. You could choose to make a comparison between pairs to apples. Well, if that's the case, then the numbers will get reversed. Simply just put the numbers where they belong. Pairs has five, and then apples is three. So instead of three to five, you can have five to three. You would just be reversing the variables compared. So you can actually make a large variety of comparisons, but you have to decide which one you want to go with first because consistency is key. So I'm Jimmy, and that's a glimpse as to ratios and proportions in mathematics.